What is a VPN? Well, it's a virtual private network, but let's not let the name scare us off. It's a private train carriage for nerds, though honestly, that would be quite nice. Here's how it works. Normally when you go online, you connect directly to a website. That website sees your IP address, your location, and thanks to your ISP, probably what you've had for breakfast. It's like sending a postcard. The message is out there, readable, and everyone along the way can see both who sent it and where it's going. Enter the VPN. Now it's less like a postcard and more like handing your letter to a middleman in a trench coat. You give the VPN your request. Please fetch me the latest season of that show. I'm definitely not streaming from a pirating website. And it passes the message on to the website. The site sees their IP address and not yours. The response comes back to them and they pass it on to you, all neat and tidy. If someone's watching you, say your ISP or a bored data center technician, all they see is you chatting to the VPN. They don't know what you're saying or where it's headed. If someone's watching the destination site, they just see the VPN knocking politely and requesting content. The two ends never quite connect, like two shy teenagers at a school dance, buffered by their enthusiastic mutual friend. This is handy for privacy, public Wi-Fi, and looking like you live in a different country. Want to watch French Netflix? Well, bonjour, connect to a VPN in Paris and voila. Suddenly you're legally obliged to appreciate black and white cinema and complex moral ambiguity. But here's the thing. Yes, the VPN hides your traffic from your ISP, but now the VPN sees everything. So instead of trusting your local broadband monopoly, you're trusting a stranger who once advertised their service with a cartoon ninja. Still, for most people, it's useful. Not magic, not perfect, but practical. Just remember, a VPN doesn't make you anonymous. It makes you somewhat harder to track, like putting on sunglasses and a hat and hoping that no one notices you stealing biscuits at the office party. In short, a VPN is a privacy tool, not a cloak of invisibility. Use it wisely and maybe don't stream pirated box sets from websites like Russian Super Server 14 unless you really enjoy malware and existential dread. More of this from the nudiest people you know at craigandave.org.